and then it, the next thing you're want, gonna want to do, and I highly recommend it, is uh, you're gonna want to refoil your entire back of the panel. Um, this is uh, fairly easy. Um, it's a little bit time consuming, so make sure you have the time and you're willing to do it. And if you do it to one, I would do it to all of them. It's just stupid to do it to one. So what you're going to want to do is go out and get some carpet tape or the foil that uh, the company that makes these dance pads used. It's a uh, foil that's sticky on one side, like it's adhesive on one side, and then it's tin foil on the other. What you can do is you can just do that and stick it down over this whole thing and just kind of scrape it down so it stays flat. But I couldn't find that anywhere. And every time I went to the store and asked about it, everyone thought I was psychotic or something. So um, uh, what I have done is I went to a store, got some carpet tape, and have uh, done this. And what this is, is first uh, you're going to want to lay down carpet tape. I've done it from here to here, then all the way back here. You can see some of it right at the end here, all the way up to here. And you kind of overlap it just a tiny bit. So when you're all the way done, you your back of the panel looks white or whatever color your uh, carpet tape is. Uh, leave some room on the bottoms and on the sides of the pad so you can uh, tape down duct tape. Like this was my first panel that I did it on and as you can see there's some foil sticking out. You don't really want that. Um, so what you're going to want to do after sticking down all the carpet tape is you're going to want to get a sheet of tin foil and just go completely over it and get it down as flat as you can. Um, and then you're going to want to just take something that's flat or maybe like the end of a screwdriver and kind of just scrape across and that will help make it flat um, and then after that you should be almost set and uh, what you're going to want to do though after that is go along the edge and put duct tape and hold down the foil you don't have to do this but I highly recommend it in case uh, the foil starts peeling on the end and then it just keeps ripping all the way across and then you have to do it all over again it's a big hassle um, and uh, also what you're going to want to do is if you need to use two pieces of foil you're going to want to use a piece of duct tape and go all the way across to where the one piece of duct or tin foil ends to the other and that will stop it from peeling on the inside if it just moves at all and starts scraping it off. Um, so that would be really helpful. Uh, any other things you would want to do before putting this all back together is uh, if there's any little pieces that are like bubbly or something I also would probably tape those down because those will probably open up if they're anywhere near the sensor. Now this one was fine, as you can see I've used it, I've hit probably over a hundred thousand arrows by now, uh, and you can see nothing has happened, it's nice and flat, uh, nothing has come undone yet. This is a really awesome mod, so this will fix all your misfires probably. It has fixed all mine, my pad almost never misfires now after I've done this. And all you're going to want to do after that is put it back on. And a big bonus if you are into this sort of thing is uh, you can move the sensor any way you want. So if you want it backwards or whatever, go for it. Um, I personally like it the normal way. So that's how I'm going to do it. I know a lot of you guys are probably in the groove, people or whatever. You guys like to put the arrows in different ways. Whatever. Uh, oh yeah, also one more thing, I would put uh, another piece of tape or something down here so it holds down the wires if you haven't already. Uh, this is really useful, I have done it twice without doing this, and I have regretted it because the solder points almost always will break if you don't do it. 
So double check you to make sure you did that and put the panel back on. And then put your little things over here, blah blah blah. But and screw them back in and that's all you have to do. Um if you have any questions or anything, just leave them in the comments. I'll try to get to all of them. Uh, uh, I'm pretty busy usually, but I mean, I try to get on during the night every night. So if you have a question, send me a message, leave something in the comments. Um, I'll try to get to your questions and answer them. Uh, this mod will fix any misfires or anything that has gone wrong with your dance pads, essentially. Um, there's not really any other problems that you could run into that would probably be caused by the sensor or the panels. Uh, the only other thing that could probably be broken would probably be your control box. Uh, I did get, I did receive one broken once and, uh, you might want to contact whoever you bought yours from and get a new one. Um, like this one, this one was sent kind of broken, the wiring's coming out, but it works okay, so maybe that's one of your problems. Um, anyways, that's basically it, you guys. Um, it couldn't be any simpler. Uh, the, the panel mod takes a while, but the solder thing only takes like five minutes after warming up the soldering iron, not even. So you guys should be set to play within 10 minutes if it's a broken solder going in probably uh, 30 minutes a panel for the duct tape and carpet tape mod that I've created. Um, and any other tips I could give you, just one last one, um, if you play on your shoes like I do, uh, I went do it any other way. Um, your dance pad might get a little bit dirty and whatnot. Uh, you might be sliding around on dirt or whatnot. Really easy, just uh, grab some duct or uh, Windex and just spray it on the panel. And grab like a towel or something, just wipe it down. I mean, it's that simple. Then that should kind of make it sticky at first, but after a while, after you play on it, uh, it'll go back to the way you want it. You can also put on your shoes. I know a lot of uh, players out there put on their shoes more than the panels. Uh, I prefer putting it on the panels though because it works quicker in your game that they're off the panels, not your shoes, because my shoes are relatively clean. Uh, that's it, guys. Um, again, if you have any questions or anything, uh, leave them in the comments. I will try to get to all of them. I really, really will. Besides that, I'll see you guys. Mm-hmm.